Let's take a look at SoundSoap Pro, the universal restoration solution from BIAS. SoundSoap Pro 2 is the latest version of BIAS's comprehensive professional noise reduction and audio restoration plugin, featuring four dedicated noise reduction tools, hum and rumble, click and crackle, broadband, and a noise gate. Version 2 adds automated adaptive broadband noise reduction and a number of other new features making it easier to clean up noise than ever before. SoundSoap Pro can be used to clean practically any kind of unwanted noise in digital media files, including electrical hum, rumble, clicks, crackles, pops, and broadband noise such as tape hiss, vinyl record surface noise, fans, HVAC systems, wind, running water, and more. It includes audio units, RTAS, and VSD format plugins, making it compatible with most professional editing applications on Mac or Windows. Despite its many advanced controls, SoundSoap Pro is easy to use because its tools are arranged in the order that gives the best noise reduction results. Once a tool is adjusted as desired, move on to the next one. Removing low frequency hum and rumble makes it easier to remove clicks and crackles, which makes it easier to remove broadband noise and so on. If there's a certain type of noise reduction you don't need, just leave that tool inactive. Let's do a quick demo and see how it all works. I'm working with an LP recording with lots of scratches, needle hiss, and surface noise. It contains voice and music, and it was made on an ungrounded turntable, so it has a lot of noise problems. Let's take a quick listen to what it sounds like before we clean it up. In a file like this, which has an area of noise by itself, I like to create a loop in my host program and play back just this section to find a good starting point for our settings, which we can fine tune later. First we'll look at the hum and rumble tool, which is designed to remove low frequency noise. If you don't know the frequency of the hum, you can use a unique visual aid called a hum meter to take the guesswork out of it. Just sweep the hum frequency slider back and forth until you get the strongest reading. You can also adjust the width and depth of the notch filter that SoundSoap Pro creates to eliminate hum. Electrical hum usually also includes several harmonics of the fundamental frequency, and SoundSoap Pro lets you specify how many to remove, anywhere between 1 and 9. Since harmonics vary in strength, the harmonic tilt knob allows you to set a variable cut depth for additional harmonics. SoundSoap Pro's rumble filter features an adjustable cutoff frequency which can be set anywhere between 20 and 500 Hz. Let's go into noise only mode which allows us to hear what's being removed by the current settings before any processing is permanently applied. Now we'll go back to regular mode and move to the click and crackle tool. SoundSoap Pro offers independent controls for fine tuning the removal of both large and small transient problems. The click meter is another visual aid that illuminates when the current settings are successfully detecting and repairing clicks. Once clicks and crackles have been removed, we can move on to the broadband tool. Adaptive noise reduction is the simplest to use. Just start playback and click the adaptive button, and SoundSoap Pro will analyze the audio and remove the broadband noise. Adaptive mode is ideal for cleaning media files that do not have any areas containing just the unwanted noise, and for those that have dynamic noise that changes over time. Adaptive Extraction Mode uses the same algorithm, but instead of remaining active throughout playback, it creates a noise profile after an initial period of analysis. It's like using the Learn Noise function to learn directly in an area that also contains the desired audio content. The manual Snapshot and Timed Learn modes are ideal for audio content in which there is an area of isolated noise. If the area is very short, start playback and click the Snapshot Learn button. SoundSo Pro analyzes the noise and creates a noise profile in about half a second. In this case, since we have several seconds of isolated noise, I'll use timed learn mode and start learning here, and stop learning here. The blue threshold sliders have snapped into position to create a noise profile. The next thing to do is adjust the amount of noise reduction applied in each band. With the yellow reduction sliders grouped together, I'll lower them all to turn off broadband noise reduction and get an idea of the noise we're up against. Then I'll raise them as a group until no broadband noise can be heard. Now, I'll unlock them, and starting in the low end of the frequency spectrum, I'll lower each reduction slider until the noise in that part of the frequency spectrum is audible, and find the lowest possible setting that eliminates the noise in that part of the spectrum. I'll repeat this for each slider, so that I'm removing just noise and not the content I'm trying to preserve. The threshold and reduction sliders work in conjunction with the meters that appear behind them. When the audio level exceeds the threshold setting for a particular band, it causes noise reduction to be applied in that part of the frequency spectrum, and the position of the reduction slider controls how much noise reduction is applied once the threshold is exceeded. SoundSoap Pro's threshold and reduction sliders can be locked and grouped together in different ways, 
and you can choose to view just threshold, just reduction, or both threshold and reduction sliders at the same time. SoundSo Pro offers adjustable attack and release values which control how quickly broadband noise reduction is applied when the threshold is exceeded and how quickly it's turned off when audio falls below the threshold level. In addition, the attack and release tilt controls allow variable attack and release values across different parts of the frequency spectrum. The tilt setting is useful for working with certain types of materials, such as drum tracks, where you might need one value for kick drums and another for snares or hi-hats. The last processing tool is the noise gate, which is an industrial strength method of noise reduction that's useful for any stubborn residual noise, if there's any left after the first three tools. SoundSo Pro's noise gate is very intuitive to use. The display shows a waveform of the audio being played, with the gate's threshold indicators superimposed over it. The noise gate also features adjustable attack and release values, which control how quickly the noise gate opens or closes when the audio signal exceeds or falls below the threshold. Let's go into noise only mode and see what we're removing with all four tools active. Now that we've run through all the noise reduction tools, let's do a before and after comparison. So, the food before was unmasked at last. Laid to rest by the side of his hit clockwork dog, Toto. Mm, Our, very good. Right? Yes, yeah. isn't it? Our labor's now completed. The great defective Hemlock Stones and I, his patient. SoundSo Pro also features a number of global tools, which appear within each screen. The first of these are the tool thumbnails, which display the most important settings in each tool, so you can keep an eye on all your settings at all times. Next is the spectrogram. The spectrogram can be zoomed in or out for more or less detail and can be paused to allow closer inspection of certain areas. SoundSo Pro has four temporary ABCD snapshots, which are instant temporary presets that store the state of all controls in all tools. Since SoundSo Pro has so many controls, these are particularly useful for experimenting with different noise reduction settings. Want to create a permanent preset? Saving a preset itself is pretty standard, but when loading a preset, you can choose to load the settings for all tools or just certain ones. So that's SoundSoap Pro. It offers amazing power and control for noise reduction and audio restoration, yet remains easy to use. It's incredibly flexible and works with many popular digital audio and video editing applications as an audio unit, RTAS, or VST plugin on Mac or Windows systems. To learn more about SoundSoap Pro, or to download a trial or purchase a copy, visit the BIAS website at www.bias-inc.com.